Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump Jr. caught something about YouTube shooting aftermath nobody else saw. Facts are beginning to emerge about the traumatic shooting that occurred at YouTube headquarters on Tuesday, and they certainly don't fit the media's preconceived narrative. On April 3rd, three people were wounded and the attacker took her own life at the Google-owned video brand's headquarters in San Bruno, California. Many liberals quickly speculated or even openly hoped that the shooter was a gun-toting conservative NRA member, but the reality was very different, as Donald Trump Jr. pointed out in a tweet Tuesday evening. Instead, the shooter turned out to be Nassim Ogdam, an Iranian woman who pushed many far-left talking points. Ogdam described herself as a vegan bodybuilder and animal rights activist promoting a healthy and humane lifestyle, Fox News reported. Her pages were littered with strange workout videos, vegan cooking tutorials mixed with graphic animal abuse videos, Fox continued. Photos show the shooter involved in protests with PETA, the liberal animal rights group. As the All Shooters are NRA members narrative quickly collapsed, social media outlets scrambled to shut down Ogdam's online accounts. As of Wednesday, the woman's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and other profiles had been taken down from public view. After those outlets made sure that the public couldn't see the shooter's posts for themselves, Trump Jr. suggested on Twitter that her narrative-breaking leftist views might be at play. You think there's any chance whatsoever that a mass shooter's hateful Instagram and YouTube channels would be pulled immediately if they were NRA members as opposed to liberal vegan PETA activists? Asking for a few million friends in the NRA, Don Jr. posted on Wednesday. His point was clear, if the situation were different and a right-leaning NRA member had committed the shooting, it seems almost certain that the media would publicize this endlessly, not rush to shut down and hide the social media evidence. Of course, there's no indication that a single NRA member has ever carried out a mass shooting, but the underlying question still stands. There seems to be a double standard. If a criminal's political leanings confirm the media's biases, they hold it up for all to see. The moment the narrative falls completely apart, say, when the shooter is a female vegan Iranian animal rights liberal, the story is quickly buried. At the very least, that's certainly the perception. One look at tweets from liberals before all of the facts in the YouTube shooting emerged shows just how eager the left was to blame conservatives and the NRA, once again, for a crime they had nothing to do with. Another shooting, posted angry liberal comedian Michael Ian Black as the incident unfolded. I'm going to politicize the F out of it, and so should you, he declared. The NRA is a terrorist organization. It is unclear if he still intends to politicize it now that the perpetrator appears to be an unhinged leftist. Maybe he could label all vegans terrorists, for consistency. If this shooter at YouTube isn't a white male with far-right leanings, I will eat my effing hat," posted another Twitter liberal named Jim Van East. Get rid of the effing guns. It's unknown if he will eat his hat all at once, or a small bite at a time. At the end of the day, the real lesson here is that building an entire party on narratives and group identify politics is bound to fail. People don't fit into perfect boxes, and that's why we must deal with each other as individuals. That includes personal responsibility for their own crimes, instead of blaming millions for the actions of one. Unfortunately, it looks like many on the left still haven't learned the ironic lesson. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.